Hello. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Hi, sir. I. Right. I. Is it? Um. Are you? Are you live? Okay. Is there anyone watching? Why is my mic working? Hello? Yay, my mic's working. I don't know if I've been live for two minutes and not been able to speak. Uh, how are things, guys? Yeah, I don't know if my mic was muted because I, I intentionally muted myself. But I don't know if it was also my mic playing up as well. So even had I not muted myself, no one would have heard me. Oh, amazing. Anyway, as you can see, Doom arrived. That sounds rude. Doom came. And uh, he's here to oh, take yeah. part all in all this. Over all over. Well, as long as it's not my face, I don't mind. Like, but, you know. <laughs> Grum's face. Uh, all over everyone's face. All over Grum's face. Over the real Sorry, Grum or the fake Grum? Uh, real Grum. Okay. okay. All over his chin. <laughs> Just dribbled on his chin. Anyway, let's talk. Let's enough come talk. Uh, as you can see, Ubisoft is starting. They start with some music from uh, what looks like Assassin's Creed. I don't know if it's a specific game or just. I was going to say, by the looks of it, um, from what we saw slightly earlier, um, it, it had um, um, the British Redcoats. So it's yeah, I think be... it's just showing several different games. Like I'm sure that's Connor. Oh, like yeah, Connor's shit. What's Corner? He's um he's the th he's the main character in Assassin's Creed Three. Um, uh, he's I'm just really he's, he's he's like just really one tone and boring. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah, uh, it's from Assassin's Creed Three. The music, look, yeah, showed in the background. Uh, what um, well, well, while they while they got it up, um, Doom FN coming in, <laughs> coming in your ears. Um, what's your favorite Assassin's Creed game? Uh, from the ones I've played, I would either say two or four. Okay, cool. Two or four. Also, have you played Origins, like the uh, or Odyssey? I haven't Did played you know? uh, Syndicate Origins or Odyssey, and to be oh, honest, yeah. I'm disappointed Mario isn't in Odyssey, so I probably will never play it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I played Origins, but I didn't get into it um, because I kept like the last game I played was four, and I loved four. I thought it was awesome. Um, and then the next one I played was Origins, and I knew it was going to be different, but I didn't realize the battle system was going to be that different, and it was a bit jarring, so I kind of, I couldn't get on with it. But like now, on reflection, I was like, I, I kind of regret not playing it through it. Mm. So, um, I, I think with it's on uh, sale at the moment as well, so I'm kind of tempted to pick it up. Again. Yeah, is it, is it not in Game Pass? <laughs> Everything else no. seems to be. I, yeah, 
It's it's eighteen pound <laughs> currently. It's eight sixteen or eighteen pound on um, That's not bad. Uh, as part of the E three um, so, uh, sale. Um, I've got Odyssey because me and Legendary Slam game share, and he's got Odyssey. Yeah. So um, I can play that at some point. But um, yeah. So here we go. No, that's cool, man. With um, Assassin's Creed, I think a lot of people by full were a bit stale of the games. A bit yes. full, the games were a bit stale. And I think like a lot of people... Peak, really, wasn't it? I think a lot of people liked 4 for the uh, the ship battles and yeah. stuff like that more than the, the general really cool. Assassin's Kenway. Creed stuff. Yeah, Edward Kenway's great. It was real, real cool, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. I also liked Hathen. Is his name Hayes? I don't know. I'm not sure who that is. Is that uh, it's, it's his son? son. It's in Assassin's Creed Three. Uh, it's the, uh, uh, you play as him for a bit, and then yeah. you there's like a twist, and you play as Connor, which is his son. Oh, uh, okay. His illegitimate son, I would say. And yeah. um, I th- I think that basically Assassin's Creed. Uh, uh, I think it's three, four, new, uh, new. Either three phone Unity or three phone Rogue are basically uh, the Kenway trilogy. Ah, uh, okay. Like Assassin's Creed Two Brotherhood and uh, the other one after it, which I forgot the name of right now. Yeah. Uh, were uh, the Ep- Epsio, Ezio, sorry, Espio. The Ezio Eps- collection. Ezio yeah. collection. You're thinking of Espio on there, weren't you? Yeah, I was. <laughs> Um, are you um you you a fan of Watch Dogs? Oh, I bought that as well. I bought Watch Dogs two again E three sale. I found out as well. I had a um five Penis. five pound. Yes, I that I found that out quite recently. Um, <laughs> when you went for a pee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I um them. I had a five person. pound um uh, Xbox <clears throat> voucher which I forgot about. Oh, uh, nice. And with with um, Watch Dogs two being on th- as part of the E three sale. Um, in total, I got Watch Dogs 2 for five quid. So That's not bad, is it? No, so I, I thought it was worth five. You know, if I, you know, I've spoken to a few people about it, and they've all said, like, Watch Dogs 2 is amazing. So Yeah, I, I personally, I'm not a big fan of Watch Dogs. But I've heard yeah. so much good stuff about Watch Dogs 2. Yeah, I've heard Watch Dogs is a bit crappy. Yeah, they've, it's like a bit made crap. Up for it on number two. So. Yeah, yeah. Grummy, are you a fan of? Um, Remember, guys, any if of any the... of you there from G Arcade want to join the G Arcade uh, Twitch cast right now, jump in yeah, my Discord. Join in. Is this uh, Watch Dogs? It's Watch Dogs Three. This one. You must be in front of me. They're all making yeah. noise for me. Oh, they. Like really fucking far from this. This this one's in London. Oh. Fuck me, how far in front of you? I, I don't know. I, I'm on alpha gameplay footage right now. Oh, oh now it's starting. You're like a minute in front. <laughs> I won't say too much then. Oh, the stuff I'll say, I won't be too spoilery about it. Okay, it's not even a gameplay footage; it's a montage of games. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, bloody hell! You're you're like two two and a half minutes behind me. What are you watching on? A mixer on the Xbox. I'm watching on Mixer as well. No, a couple of seconds you're in there isn't too bad. No. Fucking. I'm two minutes. watching some alpha gameplay, like footage of Watch Dogs 3. Uh, showing now, look, London, yeah. 1965. <laughs> I like Lee's plan. Every so often I should, uh, I should fake a gasp just to keep us, just to keep everyone on edge. <laughs> Why not? Sounds like fun. <laughs> like, oh my god, that guy's naked. Oh my god. I'm really surprised. Normally I'm not behind people. Mm. What's the stream behind? Uh, let's have a look. 
Will I get any codes for watching on Mixer? There is a chance you might. It's it's worth it's worth doing for sure. So I don't watch on Mixer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, they're now walking. It's a bus going past and a car. Are you on the gameplay footage now? Hmm. Keeping you safe. Oh my god, it's like having Danny Dyer in yet. Not quite Danny Dyer, but the way he speaks. That makes sense. Okay. Sky pop. Uh, for the guys in chat, what what are you currently seeing on stream? Just so I know, because I don't want to say too much. Like, if I spoil it for Peds, I spoil it for Peds, but I don't want to spoil it for like. For also, we're watching chat. what I'm seeing, which is ah, the right. guy being punched in the face. Oh, okay, yeah. So by the London Underground. Yeah. Oh, you just need him in the testies. Okay, I, I won't say too much. I'll wait until you catch up and I'll st start talking then. I, I, I can't catch up, man. It's live. Unless you like... No, what is, when you get to that point, I'll, I'll, I could say something then. Okay, you can cloak. Yeah. I that's I like the fact that you can um uh if you get hurt you can choose to um get like surrender or resist and then like keep fighting. That's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, are you on any other games yet? No, no, I'm still on Watch Dogs. Ooh, it's just gameplay. No, I'm, I'm wondering if, if if I. Oh, Ian's dead. Yeah. Ah, there you are. Yeah. So it's permadeath. So and th and then you select one of the other, like another character, like a ran another random character, basically, who's like. Ah, so that's what it was on about. You can play as different people. As anybody, yeah, yeah. You literally... They're, they're showing off some, like, dr drone uh, drone gameplay, I guess you could call it. But it's like a ground drone, not a flying drone. Hmm. Oh, my God, it's an old lady named Helen. Yep. And it's cool, because it tells you, like, what level they are in what speciality and stuff. What I want to know is, is there, like, unlimited amount of people? Is it, like, randomly generated, or is there, like, a certain amount of people you can be before, like, you, you run out of people to play, like? I don't know. Got to be a limited amount, doesn't it? But then if you run out of people, like, you can't play, you know? Yeah, yeah, you'd have to start again. So. I reckon there'll be, like, a, 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 an unlimited amount, but a limited amount at a time. Yeah, yeah. And like the, it just keeps refreshing the list when you go through it or something. Yeah, you can have like twenty people at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 that woman tears from never kicking in the shin. Oh. I was gonna say that that old woman's awesome, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, Helen's my fucking main. I was gonna say she she ain't taking no shit, is she? <laughs> oh my god that's amazing that's still more gameplay yeah it's it's like i'm still watching gameplay it's um i'm now on naomi yeah she's a trained assassin so so again depending on the skills like um she's an assassin so She's much more like melee based and like 
kill people quietly where a hacker is probably going to be able to like infiltrate a bit more do you know what i mean so it's pretty cool like i like the fact is when they go into operation they put masks on yeah so i assume you'll be able to customize those masks yeah i like how uh, the guy you the first guy you put a mask on he just yeah. walked a little bit put his mask on in front of like hundreds of people yeah it's like just didn't yeah because <laughs> that was it's like spider-man running into the street yeah. seeing like um i don't know dr octopus going running behind him so that dr octopus is looking at him quickly putting his suit on uh, that everyone just stand there going, oh, we didn't see anything. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Oh, that's cool I, with I the drone. Watch, that's what you're like, about. Take people down and like, it, it's pretty cool. I don't know the fuck I'm so far behind. I want to pause it and like, not pause it, refresh and see if it catches up. But I don't want to skip anything, which I want to do yeah. when they're just talking about a game. Yeah, it means we'll miss a little bit on the stream. But I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I want to be at about the same place we can talk properly, like. Yeah. Ooh, cannabis. I like cannabis. I like the smell of it. It's fucking gross. <laughs> really, I hey, really Jackson. can't stand the smell of it. Uh, that's what me and Doom were talking about. Uh, yeah. Do you run out of characters? We, uh, I was thinking that there would be a limited amount of characters you can play as at once. So you can have, yeah. say, 20 characters. And then when a lot of them die, you can recruit more characters. That yeah. is what I'm thinking. Because otherwise, if you run out of characters, you normally play the fucking game, yeah. Yeah. Because um, they're, they're all classed as operatives. So it must be, it's obviously a big organization, which is like, which is essentially the people are like fighting Ooh, she's against. She's kicking the, us. Yeah, yeah. Punch, punch, kick, kick. Now she like twist, like twist the guy's arm, shoots him in the kneecap, and then like breaks his neck and stuff. I don't give a fuck. Helen is fucking the best character in any game ever. I don't give. Yeah. Okay, it's true. Ah, uh, right. Here we go. Oh, so it's dead set the same people got... from in the Watch Dogs Two. Then it's like they're carrying on from there. It's an actual story continuation because I don't think um, Watch Dogs 1 is, uh, is linked to Watch Dogs 2, is it, guys? No, it's not, no. It is linked to Assassin's Creed in the sense of Abstergo, isn't it? Mm. All right, I think I've got it now. You'll catch up to this in a minute. So you you recruit new operatives with the current operatives you've got, and that's how you, your list keeps going. Okay. So you might save somebody from a gang, which Naomi's doing now. He then becomes a playable operative because it's like, you're basically like, I've just kicked everyone's ass. I've just like, like messed all these guys up and I saved your ass. Join us and you could do the same. And then he joins and all of a sudden he becomes playable. So you literally recruit NPCs and then they become playable characters and they all have individual skill sets. They might be an engineer, they might be an assassin, they might be this, they might be that. That's that's cool as hell. Mm. I, I don't think that's ever been done before, is it? I haven't got a clue. I want a new zombie U game. That was um, Ubisoft, wasn't it? Yeah. Really like your zombie U. That was fucking awesome. Nope, you got deaded. Problem with being open to anyone is anyone could infiltrate. Yeah. Damn, I should maybe think rethink the policy of letting anyone join the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
But it looks like I've now finished the gameplay footage. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm on the guy talking about it now. Popular resistance, yeah. Don't just play as one hero, but many. You can recruit and play as men as anyone. There you go. How far in front are you now? He's just he's just talking about how um you can recruit and play as anyone. So That's what he just said for me now. Uh, oh, how did you catch up? I pressed F five. <laughs> Refreshed. <laughs> okay, so what, what they got to say oh, is it, guys? Go. No, you know, good. So, uh, that's cool. Origin missions and stuff. I just want to play as Helen. I want to see anyone in between a 70 year old woman and an ex MIA agent. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He's like, you can choose who you recruit. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have the entire game as like seven year old women. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thing is, then, if that guy died and that wasn't a part of like something that has to happen, would and we played as him and didn't die, would it all completely change? Then it's like, oh, what happened to that guy? He's yeah. like, oh yeah, he died, and it's like, oh well, yeah, he didn't yeah. die for me, or did he have to die for that specific origin no, story no. of Jim? No, oh, no, no, no. The origin story is dependent on like ev every every every. NPC in the game is simulated depending on what's going on in the game currently. So if if a certain person dies, then later on you might find someone who's joined the resistance because that person's died, maybe a family member or do you know what I mean? Stuff like that. All right. So it, they said it's fully simulated. So depending on what is what is currently going on and who is and isn't alive will depend on the what the NPCs do. Proper bell end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit in front of you now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Retired assassin. This is going to give you a lot of, if every story is completely different. Yeah. And there's not like very similar, but just a slightly different location or ever so slightly dialogue. This is going to give you a lot of reasons to replay the game multiple yeah. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
basically saying after Brexit, we're all fucked in the UK. <laughs> March 6th, there we are. I, hey, I, I, I'm agreeing with Ubisoft here. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe I'm not. So, I'm not getting involved. What, what, what do we think of the release day then, March 6th? March 6th, yeah, it's not bad. It gives me time to play through uh, Watch Dogs 2. It gives sometime. me time to save up some money after rinsing my wallet in November and December, so... Hmm. I'll be getting that on release, I think. It looks really good. Ah, oh, Sim. I watched the first two seasons of that, and I thought the second series season was much better when Danny DeVito was in it, but hey, I just never watched it after that. No, I, I haven't seen it at all. It's good. Well, they're doing a sunny game. Is that Rob thingy? I don't know. I haven't looked. It's the guy from Sunny. Raven Spank? Oh, Banquet. That's so raven. Wow, I haven't seen that for a long time. I'm sure there's a new version of that with like a kid in it or something. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, hell, you'd raven spank out of that. So is this like a, a, a show? TV series. Yeah. Yeah, TV series. That's exclusive to Apple TV, I think they said. Why the fuck do I care? It's a Ubisoft cover. It's, it's because they worked with Ubisoft to, to make it um, like authentic, basically. Hmm. Hey, was that what's his name from... Um... Community. I really need to change the resolution on this. Well, I don't think it was. The Grim Reaper.
Some Rainbow Six, eh? You found a Rainbow Six? Rainbow Six Siege is pretty good. It's just it one is. of those games that to get good at, you need to play a lot, and I just haven't got. I yeah. just can't be asked. No, it'd be, it wouldn't be so bad if it was just like, hey, let's, guys, let's uh, get together on a Friday, stream and play some multiplayer games, and and go about it. But it just don't happen anymore. Everyone's no. like old now, Le- and has, in the way has responsibilities. Sadly. Like so, I just you know. Yeah. No, it's, and it's like, I don't mean like specifically that game. I mean like um No in general. In general, it's like, oh let's let's play some Left 4 Dead 2, let's play some Killing Floor, let's play some Yeah. See just play some overcooked. I wasn't gonna say overcooked, I was gonna say overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> but I forgot his name, I was like, over something, what's it called again? Well, they look dead. Mm-hmm. This just doesn't look right visually. I don't know why. No. No, no, I know what you mean. It, should I tell you what it looks like? It looks like um, last-gen graphics, doesn't it? It looks like... It looks like um, oh, Counter-Strike. Someone have used like, the same kind of thing for Counter-Strike. Gary's mod to make a... Uh... Thing like, yeah, that makes sense. It it doesn't look the the textures on the on the probably a mobile game or something. I was gonna say the textures don't look right at all, do they? On the characters, Uh, it it genuinely to me looks like someone has made a a trailer using Gary's mod. (laughs) Yeah. That was shit. So... I bet Kill got an erection, though. <laughs> so, essentially, get a James Bond character with this one now. Oh, this is... um. Adventure Time! Bra- Adventure Time! Uh, um, Brawlhalla. Fucking love Adventure Time. Uh-huh. So fucking good. Shame has ended. Ah, I think the Adventure, adventure Time guys are in um, Brawlhalla, are they? It appears so. <laughs> cool. There would be more than the three of them. There's so many characters in there that you could use, like Marsley, Nice King. And then fucking so many more. I really like Adventure Time. (laughs) I love me space princess. Yeah. The Punisher guys. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, Ghost Recon, isn't it? Yeah, I need to play and finish Ghost Recon Wildlands. I just never did. Yeah, I was playing it was, with uh, a couple of guys from the, G-Arcade. Same with Division yeah, Two. Same say, people. Didn't finish that either. Yeah. I'm a horrible say, person. Yeah, it, <laughs> Yeah. 
Is there any other ones on tonight, um, Peds? I don't think so. I think at 10 is uh, Microsoft with other stuff. Uh, they've got... Um, they talked about backwards compatibility, Game Pass, and various other things. So if you want to watch that, things on at 10, though. So basically, they ghosts who have now become yeah. bad. So yeah. they they bad ghosts. Hmm. Is it going to be? The thing I want to know is: Is this Ghost Recon game going to be like the play like Wildlands? Is it? I think so. Yeah. Like open world type style and oh, doggy. Woof. Is Jazz is Jasmine in chat? I don't know. Oh, look at that doggy! Right, uh, eleven p.m. You've got Xbox Game Pass, PS Five, something redacted. Backwards compatibility, Bleeding Edge, Crossfire, Pad, ID at Xbox, Halo Infinite, Forza and Lego, Surge 2 and Sea of Thieves. There he is. Jasm's there. <laughs> they are the stuff that's tonight. I don't get how you can sleep like our dog. <laughs> Just take a photo and show you up. I get banned for showing penis on the screen. But we have more technology. <laughs> no, they just have a big fucking gun. Not the big fucking gun, but a big fucking gun. Yeah. See if they're just as trained as they are, and there's many, many more of them, and they also have much more tech. I do think the ghost would probably lose. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hmm. They don't do pack, man. They don't do Ghostbusters. And that's all the ghosts I know of in, in the entire existence of the world. So he's right, ghosts never die. <laughs> uh. Hello.
Didn't expect that accent for some reason. I don't know why. No. Uh, I was thinking they'd say, "Welcome to Ubisoft's version of Meverse," and it's in all yeah. the games. <laughs> Joe would be happy. Company. Hello, wherever you are. It's funny because a lot of the time you see the same people every year and I forget who the fuck they are. Oh, it's him. Yeah, I remember him. I don't remember him. <laughs> oh, he's blinking way too much. I can, I can only look at him blinking now. Oh, dear. I, I can't look at anything but the blinking. Look away. Look away. Every horse, uh, dog is spring horse out. People didn't sound convinced, Dan. No. Everyone clap, everyone clap. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to clap after every fucking sentence. Apparently it was like that at Bethesda's. Like, they were literally doing nothing and people were going nuts over it. Terminated again? What do you mean again? The Microsoft conference, uh, Gears of War, was at a crossover Terminator. Did they? I, yeah. How did I miss that? You, you fucked off, didn't you? You should have made you miss his walk. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, crossover with the new film, it is, isn't it? It, showed, uh, uh, it? it literally showed a lot of skulls on the floor and the Terminator stamping on them. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, the scene that I keep going on about should be in Animal Crossing, you mean? <laughs> the stream is froze. It's back. Oh, now. it's back. There we go. Hey, the Ubisoft turd. A mobile RPG. Oh, God. Looks like Splinter Cell. If this is the Splinter Cell, if this is Splinter Cell, <laughs> people are going to oh. be so pissed. No, I don't think it is. That's the division. Wait, what? It's characters from all their games. Yeah. Splinter Cell phone. <laughs> you get the Terminator packing gears if you play the first week. Uh, well, it, it comes free with Game Pass Ultimate, doesn't it? So it's all about that. 
it's all of anything Terminator related is is makes things even better. Mm. Hence why I said Animal Crossing should should collaborate with Terminator. <laughs> yeah, mate, it's in fucking been shown on two different uh, conferences now. Yeah, the dreams are almost coming to fruition. Oh, if 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 Terminator turns up a Nintendo tomorrow, I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> No. Tom Clancy's. Elite. I'm really bothered with mobile games. I'm not the kind of person who goes, mobile games are all shit because there are some decent ones there. It's just, I can't be asked. I'd rather just play on a screen that isn't teeny tiny. Yeah. That includes the Switch screen. Teeny tiny. Teeny tiny. Just dance. <laughs> what I want to know is is this game going to be on the Wii because uh, Just Dance 2019 was on the Wii they released it for the Wii probably I think it was still a massive sell in sell wasn't it yeah so I, I wonder if this one will be on the Wii <laughs> Nintendo gets internet wrong again when they unveil Skynet on Tuesday <laughs> <laughs> What's that now? That's what Monkey Man said. Oh, yeah. Ubisoft's conferences are always good fun to watch. They're a lot more boring this year. They usually have silly stuff happen, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't know of a Splinter Cell game on the 3DS. I know it's a Ghost Recon game on there. I don't know it's a <gasps> Splinter Cell. I spot Jeff in this video. Is he the panda? <laughs> well, this is a fucking awful song. Could do with some vocals from a true talent like me as well. <laughs> Jeff was there for just uh, for my uh, Twitch sing stream, so he knows how insulting oh, that is. <laughs> and it's not the vocal; it's just the song in general. It's just awful. We Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Wii, and Stadia in go. November. Wii. I pre-ordered Stadia as well. I don't care. Oh, you have pre-ordered it? Yeah. I'm willing to give it a try. And it literally, like you were saying yesterday with the whole Xbox streaming from your Xbox, it literally makes no difference where the stream is coming from. If it works, it's going to no. work wherever. Yeah, yeah. You know? I... I don't see the benefit of streaming from my Xbox. It just means that I'm using more of my electricity and paying more money on bills. <laughs> What's going on here then? Uh, uh, yeah. For honor. Oh, they yes. did limited time event not long ago with the uh, rabbits in it. I forgot the look at it. Oh well. What rabbits in for honor? Yeah. What? Well, it was like a crossover thing. <laughs> are they bringing out the samurai or something as part of the... Yeah, there you are. Samurai. 
seems to be a, a said though it's a limited thing so mm. time limited Look pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, but nothing I'll probably play. I think I've got for honor on something. Oh, who knows? Mm. And on you then. It may be useful, but for me, I don't think I'd bother um, streaming to my phone and stuff. And uh, just using the Xbox itself just doesn't seem as a benefit. Oh. To streaming from a data center. If you know what I mean? I don't see the benefit. Ah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah. I wonder if it's like a, some DLC for Rainbow Six. Yeah, well, they they did like a limited time. Oh no, time it's the next zone, next they? game lock. Ah. It's a shame they don't do Rainbow Six. Like, Rainbow Six Siege is, like, just an online multiplayer game. It's kind of a shame that we haven't got something like Rainbow Six Vegas anymore. Or yeah. the older Rainbow Sixes, which I believe you can play on the PlayStation Classic. <laughs> uh, with the D-pad, yeah. I heard that that version of the game was supposed to be really bad anyway, like, so for them to bring yeah. it back is just weird, but... It's all they could find, really, to put on the... I can't remember what fear was by. Ah, uh, some division stuff now, is it? Honestly, I think it's finishing up soon, and I think it's just showing uh, some streamers and stuff. Who knows, uh, though? Yeah, looks like it, doesn't it?
Where's the talk gone? Is Division 2 any good? I like it. I'm finished it, but I like it. I, I um I put me and uh, me and Slam bought it. We haven't played it though. <laughs> Literally, haven't even we haven't even uh, played it. I like the division too. I like the division though, but personally, it's a game that I recommend you play with someone. Not because it's yeah. a bad game, but it's just more enjoyable to go through it with a person. Yeah, well, um, I I, pl I played a lot of the first division, and I I, cu well, I couldn't play it on my own. It was boring. I had to have I had to play with someone. Oh, fair enough. Uh, the Division 2 is better in, in uh, most regards, and it's cool with the setting. It's got a bit of very, very variety to, yeah. to DC. But I also prefer New York because I prefer the snowy, Christmassy yeah. uh, aesthetic to the game. Yeah, you can play it for three, free for three days, guys. Oh, nice. Nice. I haven't even finished the main game. The thing that is odd, I find odd, though, is, is so many games, whether they're American, British, Japanese, whatever, a lot, so many games are set in America. Yeah. It's like, don't get me wrong, you could, there's like lots of different stuff in America, but, you know, it'd be nice to have other locations. Yeah. Yeah. Sky Pop is set in Spain. Awesome. Watch Dogs 3, I think, is in uh, the in UK, London. yes. But Watch Dogs 1 and 2, I believe, are set in America. Yeah, it's, uh, Seattle. I'm not criticizing the USA. I say it'd be nice to see some other locations. Like I, I, I get why a lot of people use America because they've got like massive cities and there is a lot of different types of geology there. I hope I'm using the right words. It make me sound intelligent, but at the same time, it'd be cool to see something a bit more familiar. Like I, I wanna. I think you're thinking of geography, but I yeah. I think we get what you mean. No, I, what I mean by geology is, is there's various different habitats. Like, yeah, that's uh, geography. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Tell it to the judge. I'm fucked. <laughs>
Oh, is this going to be like a follow up to the thir- the f- end of the first game? Doesn't he escape in the chopper? Um, I thought he destroyed the chopper, but I can't remember now. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't care. Joe, you could do Ubisoft instead of making fucking shit films. Let's make good games. Good games. Because I like big games, <laughs> to be fair. Good games. <laughs> Hello, whoever you are. Hello. I like Tom Clancy games. How dare you, Jazzup? Their version of Game Pass. Yep, there you go. Oh, fuck. So everything is fucking doing it now. You play Plus. So EA are doing EA Access or whatever it's called. EA Access was the first one. Huh? Yeah, and then we've got Game Pass. We've got You Play Plus. You're in the Arsenal! Ooh, it's expensive. No, you're right. This is the problem, though. It's the same with uh, TV. Like, a lot of people are complaining so many streaming services now. Yeah. Um, that people are going to be like pirating more again because with every everything now, um, every company streaming, it's going to cost yeah. so much more money than just having say Sky. That people yeah. are just going to go back to piracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're right. basically splitting the market so much. Fourteen ninety nine. So it's the same price as Game Pass Ultimate. Yes. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. Forty nine nine dollars. I don't know if Game Pass is forty nine nine dollars or forty nine nine pounds. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, Game Game Pass is forty ninety nine dollars because it's um, ultimate. Yeah. 10, yeah, yeah. Because it's it's was it ten ninety nine uh, in pounds? I I can't so, remember. I I just got it for a pound. So. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's ten ninety nine. So this will be probably the same. This will be ten ninety nine UK. Yeah, in- probably. It's a good deal if you like. Ubisoft games, yeah, yeah. but the problem I've got with Ubisoft games on PC is is from a lot of stuff I've read when I've looked at buying games on PC from Ubisoft, is yeah. they so badly optimized compared to the console uh, counterparts, you may as well just get yeah. the console version. Thing is though, this is only PC as well, so it's gonna be on Stadia. I'd be interested. Get it on there. No need to bother with the console then. <laughs> Piracy, it's okay. I like Sea of Thieves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought Bethesda didn't announce a streaming service so much as uh, a way that other companies yeah. can use their streaming tech they, to improve the they're tech they are using. By something. Yeah. They, they, they were able to cut the bandwidth usage for... Um, for running games at 4K, 60 frames a second. Uh, by quite a lot, and they, yeah. Yeah, huge. That potentially means you could run, like, stream a 4K game at 60 frames on, like, a... on a 25 meg connection. It was that like game I was on about, look. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that one thing I do like about Ubisoft is, is at the end they do throw something out quite left field. Like one year was a steep, this year's this, and I do find they do do that. Yeah. Um, this is the first time. Whether they good or not is a different thing. Yeah. Like when I saw Steep, I fucking loved the look of it. When I played the beta, I just couldn't give two shits because I just, yeah. I, 
I don't like the way it was done. It, it was a bit, um, oh, awkward, it felt. Yeah. I got this. This is the first time in a good few years that I've watched a Ubisoft presentation, and there are quite a few games that are making me consider getting this, uh, get, getting, um, getting them like day one. Hmm. Why, hello there! What? Oh, have a look. It's ah. free. Oh, I'll give that a download. I might give her a look. Uh oh. Ah, right. They're not actually properly releasing it. So you expect when you click the download button, you click the download button and you put something on to watch while you wait. <laughs> I don't think this would be my cup of tea. Then again, I never thought Rocket League would be. Yeah. Then again, I don't play Rocket League much anymore. I blame Jazz because he doesn't love me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll give the demo a try. I don't see why not. Maybe we'll have a look at it after the end of the conference, is it, guys? I recognize this guy, is that Eve something or other? Gilmore something. Stroller. That sounds like you're pushing a pram. Mm. Tiff Growler champions. Unlockable character, uh, Dave Grohl from Nirvana. Oh, 
Looks pretty. Hello. This doesn't look like this Assassin's Creed game. Something Greek, is it? Going by the pillar on the right. Mm. Thinking about it, I got dreams on the PlayStation 4. I haven't played that. Damn it. A very pretty looking game. Mm. Unless it's a next gen game, it's not gonna look this good. <laughs> no. I actually heard a rumor they're doing a Breath of the Wild style open world game, didn't they? It's like Gluck. That's a girl. Link Linkle. What? That didn't look like Shadow of the Colossus at all. <laughs> looked more like Breath of the Wild, if anything. All right, well, that looks like it's the end, guys. I thought, well, yeah. that's surprising, actually, because they showed that, unless that was actual in-game, right? I'm surprised that there was such a small thing considering it's coming out in, like, what, eight months? Mm. That was in February. Yeah, I don't want to all this, this crap. It's not a proper conference now, it's just crap. I don't care about Rainbow Siege showdown of uh, 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 celebrities, whatever. So, thoughts? Thoughts. Uh, uh, let me just stop this a sec. There we <laughs> Right, so, oh, no, go away, no, <laughs> oh my god, close, there we go, that's better, um, yes, so, um, I am looking forward to Legion, I think it looks awesome, um, fuck off Cortana, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, yeah. So, for me, the the ge the standout game for me is um, is Legion. Um, Ghost Recon looks cool, but you know, I don't know if it's, I'm not sure if it's my sort of game. So I, I'm not, um, you know, maybe one day. But no, Legion. I think that's a that's a day one pickup for me personally. Um, what about you, uh, Peds? What stood out for you? Uh, I would say Legion looked really fucking cool. Um, yeah. As in, uh, obviously Watch Dogs, for those who are unsure what we're talking about. Um, yeah. 
I think that looked interesting. Uh, Helen is probably goat <laughs> uh, when it comes to game characters. Um, I think the last ga- two games they showed look interesting. I really yeah. like the look of uh, the last game, uh, Gods and Monsters. Uh, yeah. It did look kind of Breath of the Wildy, but it also had more of a, I don't know, a different kind of cartoonish look to it. So it was yeah. different enough looking. Uh, Gameplay-wise, it seems a little different. What with the way the person was jumping around smashing shit, all we saw was a jump yeah. in the air and hit something. Uh, so obviously, we don't know much about any of that, uh, unfortunately. And I thought a bit more would have been given um to considering how close it is uh in general oh matt's here mr grumpy pants <laughs> mr grumpy pants himself gonna grump up grump up grump hi matt you grumpy bastard you <laughs> <laughs> i actually didn't mind it i thought the last game looked quite nice the game before it looked pretty cool. Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, Watch Dogs looked interesting, so there was plenty there for me that I would play. Mm. Um, obviously, um, obviously, just dance. Just dance, well, of course. On the Wii, that's the only play. That's the only, you know, console to buy it on. Uh, also, um, I'm happy enough with the stuff that was shown for. Uh, the division because again I like the division, and I also like yeah. uh, Rainbow Six. I oh, know Rainbow. Uh, yeah, I do like Rainbow Six. Not that one. I meant Ghost Recon. Yeah, but I I like a lot of games. I just don't like Dark Souls. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Uh, overall, it was an alright conference. Uh, it's, there, it it there didn't seem as fun. There. No, I, I think that's one of the things now I think with it being so close to the next generation, I think a lot of people yeah. are holding back. Yeah. Is he is is Pugs dreaming? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he seems to have stopped them. <laughs> Uh, that's fair enough. Uh, I guess I'm uh, happier than most people with that. I don't think it was a great showing for stuff because there wasn't a lot there that we hadn't seen before or no. didn't know about. But Watch Dogs, the last game, uh, by far the most interesting to me. As yeah. well as that, I like the look of the roller skating game, kind of. I don't yeah, think I it'd be my cup of tea, but I think it'd be worth trying. Mm. Um... And again, uh, the two Tom Clancy games I mentioned, No Rainbow Six uh, Division and um, Ghost Recon, I actually have an interest in. Again, yeah. it, it didn't show anything uh, amazing there. It just, like with the, the Division, it just said, oh yeah, we're doing this, and that, that's alright. Like, But, you know. Yeah. It is what it is, isn't it? At the end of the day. But uh, but no yeah you know a couple of games to look to look forward to, um, as you said I think you know being so close to another generation, they're not going to start showing off next gen games until next year really. Yeah, apart from Microsoft who showed off Halo, which like I'm still confused why Master Chief was floating in fucking space. <laughs> Like, I'm not saying he doesn't end up floating in space. For some reason, maybe, like, in there's something that happens after Halo 5, or I don't remember the end of Halo 5, but, but my memory is that Halo 5 is like, right, we need to deal with Cortana, let's all go in a ship together. Maybe then yeah. it got blown up or something, but it looks like stuff have happened since. So yeah. let's just skip in some stuff and just go, 10 years later. Yeah. You know, because it looks like, they've, like they say, no, we lost in that clip. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yes. But, I think, for me, Microsoft show was better yesterday simply because they showed a lot more games. Yeah. Uh, Ubisoft conferences, I usually find one of the better ones normally. Uh, simply because it's just a lot of fun. 
there, yeah. and it just wasn't really. It was kind of dull compared to what it's yeah. normally like. Even the Just Dance section it is normally stupidly fun. Yeah. And it was just... It, it was just meh. Yeah. So, there you go. Um, what about uh, what about the guys in the chat then? Uh, was there any what games kind of stood out for you? Is there anything you're getting day one? Uh, is there anything that you're now getting like day one because you've seen it? Is there any games that you've now seen and you've gone, you know what? Actually, I'm not buying that for that reason. Before they answer, because they're going to be a bit behind. I don't think there's yeah. any game that I would get day one. Uh, there's not many games I would now get day one because um, I've decided to realise there's no point. Um, the, the problem is most games are released broken now. Yeah. So and the good thing is... is well give, it, give it a week or so. You know? I, I'm not being funny. What's the point in fucking buying games anymore? Just get a subscription to fucking every single fucking service that yeah. everything is coming out with. Yeah, it'll cost you a fair whack in service charges in the sense of £15 here and there. But you're still probably saving money if you buy a fucking, like, a new game every time a, a, a big one comes out. Yeah. So you're probably still saving hundreds of fucking pounds a year. It's yeah. just, you get access to all the new games now. Yeah. As soon as they come out. Fair enough. Well, that's the way the world's going, Matt. Trust me, give it a couple of years, the way things are politically, and everyone will probably have to be picking up arms and fucking murdering violently, but violently murdering people. Yeah. To survive. Mm. Yeah, goat. Old lady Helen, goat. Ooh, do you watch something which is Peggy sixteen? No, I, I was just um, having a look at um, what games are currently on the like games VA thing because like, they're all up for pre order now. So I, I'm just seeing what was coming with uh, Fallen Orders uh, Deluxe Edition. So just so I can see what you get. So you obviously get a pre order bonus of some sort. Hmm. Which well. Is and that's another thing one thing that was really cool about the uh, 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 the Bethesda thing is while I don't really care about the massive collector's editions I really want the fucking Doom helmet <laughs> yeah I really want that I was like I, I'm not a massive Doom fan which is ironic because of my name but I was like oh, you know what I might, I might spend the money on it <laughs> it's cool as hell the problem is, is uh, <clears throat> things are so expensive nowadays. Yeah, I, I just, I just don't feel it's worth it, really. Like, let let's be fair, that collector's edition is going to be close to two hundred quid, probably. Yeah, yeah, more than likely. Yeah. So. Doom three, um. I haven't played much of it. I, I was enjoying what I played of it, but it seems very different to Doom 1, uh, 2, and Doom 2016. From what I played of it, it seems uh, to be a bit more horror-focused than action-focused. Uh, like, Doom was never really that kind of game. Uh, but I, I hadn't played a lot of it, so maybe it changes. But it's, it's a complete... It's, it's a very, very different style of game to any of the other Dooms. Because Doom is like fast-paced fucking gunning shit down. And in um, Doom 3, it's very, very much a different kind of Doom. Yeah. But yes, uh, I haven't really got much else to say about Ubisoft, so uh, unless anyone has any questions for myself or Doom, or Doom has anything to say, I think we'll wrap up the Ubisoft chat for now. Yeah. Like, as you said, there's not a huge amount to say. Kind of, they've, shown, they've shown bits, and we've been happy with some, and 
that's kind of all we can be, really. So, mm. you know, I, I think obviously there's always a lot more discussion to be had for for the for your Microsofts and your Nintendos and your Sony's and that because of because of the hardware they can bring out and they're showing a more eclectic range of games and all this kind of stuff. Do you know what I mean? These ones are a bit more like show a couple of games, fill the rest of the show out with like just bump. You know, it, there's a, there's always there's always going to be a lot less to talk about on these ones. Yeah. So, yeah, but like normally Ubisoft, uh, I think another thing you know is is when you have if you had more people on your talking, we'd have uh, like maybe more views. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. uh, like while there is a chat in the with the Twitch chat, it's a there is a kind of disconnect. So it's not going to be quite the same as like although there's like twelve of us chatting. Yeah. It's not quite the same as twelve of us chatting. No, no, exactly. Either a in person or be over a mic. Uh, but yeah, I were, I think it was all right for the stuff I actually like. Uh, there was nothing really amazing there. The last game that shown was uh, a kind of like a teaser that we saw for the original Breath of the Wild, where you just saw uh, the, like the area, then uh, link on a horse, and then attacking an enemy. It was a very similar kind of thing where it zoomed in onto the character and it attacked an enemy. Um, yeah. But I think the, the the plan for the game wasn't to be out something like six to eight months later. I believe yeah. Zelda had a, a bigger gap. Yeah. And um, it's def- uh, uh, Zelda definitely had a fucking a good few years after its initial reveal, whereas this game is out in February. I do yeah. believe it said February 20. 2020. Yeah, I was gonna say twenty twenty two, but I was like, no, wait there. What the fuck am I thinking about? <laughs> um, so yeah, who? I'm trying to think now. Off the top of my head, off from last year, who was developing Beyond Good and Evil two? Ubisoft. Uh, and there was absolutely zilch about that this time. No, I think they probably didn't bring it because they did last year for the final thing and. Uh, yeah, I thought there's something to talk about on the game, though. Maybe, but I think after last year, they brought, uh, they got involved with the whole uh, more into the Space Monkeys program. Yeah. Uh, so they probably update people through that. Um, yeah. And they update enough. quite reg. I think they update on a semi regular basis for people to check out the updates and things. So I, I'm assuming that is the reason uh, more than yeah, anything okay, else. Yeah. Hey, Paps. Come in and join me, are you? Come on in. But yeah, it's surprising they didn't show anything. Also, to be honest, I was quite surprised with Beyond Good and Evil last year because it's, it's a prequel, as we all know. And yeah. then, uh, what ha- like, everything that happens, happens. And then right at the end, the person who attacks the good guys at the end is Jade. And it appears yeah. to be the character from the first game who's, like, a really good character. So it's yeah. like, what? I still don't know why the, the hologram calls a Yeed with a Y. No. But there you go. I expect that it's explained in there somewhere. I never finished the game. So I borrowed it off someone back in the day and they wanted it back before I finished it. Ah, uh, it's, it's always annoying what happens. <laughs> yeah. How dare they want their own property? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so guys. Anyway, 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 anyway. anyway. Uh, we'll end this now if Doom's yeah. okay with that. Yeah, that's fine by me. Uh, that is probably another reason, Matt. Probably. Maybe. Yeah. So, I don't know if anyone wants to play any games, but we'll end the recording mm. and uh, we'll go from there. One second. Sounds good. Uh, so, uh, are, you, are you available tomorrow for Nintendo? Um, more than likely not. What time is Nintendo? It's 5? 5? 5 p.m. I, I can try and be I, there if I, like, go hide out the garden. That early. Yeah, quite. I'm not available that early, but if anyone wants to come and join me on stream, maybe later on that night, for a chat about it... Well, I'll be available I'll later, be just not at 5. I'll be, I'll be able no, to... I'll I'm, be there at 9. I, I'm... I'm uh, I'll be out at 5, but um, if... Maybe if we do it in the evening, say about nine o'clock, um, we jump on and maybe talk about Nintendo's um, announcements. Yeah, we could uh, talk about it at night. If 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 uh... <clears throat> all right, let's just say goodbye for the for the people listening. 
Yep. To the, we will speak to you tomorrow about Nintendo Direct. Thank um, you for tuning in. Chimps is asking about whether or not we're back for Inside Xbox. I don't know. It's in half an hour. I suppose we could do if if Doom and anyone else wants to join us is up for it. We can like how, play how something for half an hour. I was like, do you know how long we're on for? Uh, Chimps, probably an hour at most. Hey, Chimps, thank you so much for the subscription. Right, uh, goodbye to those listening. Uh, while the stream is continuing, uh, I want to stop the recording because the last one I forgot to edit it and now there's 20 minutes of me going, yes, let's try this. Let's see if this will work for Doom. And then uh, I forgot to cut it out. So <laughs> after I upload, I was like, should I redo it? I was like, no, nah, I can't be asked to upload again. 